Pulumi is a modern infrastructure as code tool that allows you to declaratively describe and manage your infrastructure using your favorite programming language. We support the programming languages JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Go, and .NET. You can use these programming languages to provision any AWS resource or service that is offered. Because we have code, we can encapsulate this code to share best practices using package managers. So we can use NPM if we're using Node languages, and we can use PIP if we're using Python. Because we have code, we can see the preview of the changes that will happen before they take place and get a full audit of who changed what and when. We have built-in secret management support to protect the secrets that your infrastructure uses, along with the secrets that protect the state file for the stack itself in Pulumi. Because we have code, you can write unit tests and integration tests to validate and verify your infrastructure. And most importantly, our SDKs are completely open source. Here's an example of how to create an EC2 VM in a security group using the Python language. Pulumi can also be used to manage Kubernetes as code in addition to cloud native services. That means you can use your favorite programming languages to describe your infrastructure, to provision the API resources in Kubernetes, to reduce the amount of copy and pasting you have to do, and benefit from the same preview changes and audit histories that you get with deploying cloud native services. You can also deploy Helm charts, inject sidecars for Envoy, S2, and others because it's just code. And we have many integration points with CI CD systems. Here's an example of how to create a Kubernetes deployment and service using the TypeScript language in 33 lines of code. Let's show a quick demo of how to deploy an AWS EKS cluster and an application into that cluster. We'll start off by installing the package dependencies we need for our program. Since we're using TypeScript to deploy our EKS cluster, I'm going to use npm to install them. Once installed, we can initialize our Pulumi stack and set the configuration settings such as the region to deploy into. We'll open up our index.ts, which is the entry point, and import all of the SDK libraries we just installed. We'll start off by creating a VPC with public and private subnets and all AZs of the region. As you can see, my IDE is helping me because I have languages to work with. I will use a standard CIDR block notation. And because it's code, I can jump into the documentation and get more information about the properties for the VPC. Next, I'll set the AZs to use all. And then we'll say, before we create the cluster, let's preview what these changes will look like. Everything looks good, so let's keep going. We'll create a new cluster for EKS. We'll define the VPC to use, the private subnets required. And we're going to define this with the Fargate profile so that nodes are managed by Fargate. The preview looks good. Next, we'll export the cluster's kubeconfig, which is just the property on the cluster. Once set, let's preview the changes and run a deployment. It all checks out, so let's say yes. Once the deployment is complete, we'll examine the stack's output. In the stack output, we've put the kubeconfig for the cluster that allows us to extract that variable from the stack and use it with tools like kubectl to get the information of the nodes and the pods running in the cluster. Great, everything's running. Let's expand the demo by deploying a new pod. We'll start off by creating a provider, which is a wrapper for the kubeconfig that allows us to interchange the cluster use independent of the resource being deployed. We'll start off by creating a new pod with a sidecar. In this pod, we'll give it a name and tell it to use the provider for that kubeconfig. If you've worked with Kubernetes, this spec should look identical since we use the same API that you're used to working with in Kubernetes. We simply take the open API spec from Kubernetes and expose it as SDKs in the language of your choice. We'll define the volume mounts for this Nginx container since we're gonna have two containers in this pod. We'll define the second container, which is a Debian container that will write to that shared pod and once that's complete, we'll preview and update the changes to see if the pod can be deployed. Once the pod is ready, we can examine it by using kubectl. We can check out its logs as well. As the demo showed, we can deploy cloud native infrastructure and Kubernetes API resources through Pulumi using real programming languages. This allows you to cut down on the boilerplate and create your own abstractions or leverage ones that we've created for you and allow you to create reusable components that you can share. An example of that is our AWS X package, which is denoted on top, that allows you to easily describe a Fargate service with a load balancer. You can use the IDE for linting and compilers for checking and policy packs to find issues before deployment. And we even have an integration testing framework that allows you to test your Pulumi program stacks using the Go programming language. You can get started today by visiting Pulumi.com. Thank you.